think Megabus is probably one of our most exciting and successful products of the last few years. Uh, it's been so successful in the UK and in America and in Canada and we thought that we should have a pilot scheme to see how much scope there would be to introduce the product in Europe. Well, fuel prices uh, seem to be good for low-cost intercity travel. It seems to be that people are looking carefully at their budgets just now. And uh, I, I mean, I, the European market is not contested to any great extent. You know, there's a couple of big carriers and the state dominates a lot of the markets. I think there's real scope for a dynamic product like Megabus, which is yield managed and which has also got a very high quality offering with the Wi-Fi and the quality of the vehicles. And uh, I think it, it will be very popular. The, the bookings have been, have been good. And uh, I think the question for us is just really that in some of the countries we're operating, we can go internationally, but, but to go in between the cities, we'd need to look at the licensing in some of the countries, and that could be an obstacle to us. So the first thing we're doing here is proving that Europeans want Megabus and are willing to travel on it. Well, it's got exceptionally high growth in both places, but in North America, um, we're rolling out as fast as we can. From a cold start, this year it will turn about $160 million. And the UK business is also growing about 30% just now. So this is an area where I see us putting big investment and getting high growth with good margin. I think there would be scope to expand in other countries, but we have to prove the concept first of all, and then we have to look at what the regulatory issues are in some of the countries. But if Europe was properly deregulated, it could be a very big opportunity. I think the sleeper coach has got enormous potential in Europe and in other countries. It's been very successful in Scotland and what we're doing at the moment is developing a new vehicle which will have over 40 beds and have over 50 um, sort of first class seats for during the day travel. So it would be gold during the day and sleeper at night. And uh, that's one of our priorities at the moment.